So Brother Lewis, now as a, as a Jamaican, I'm a Jamaican, I'm from the Jamaican, sunny Caribbean. Now, I came over to England in 1970. Now, I know when I was back in Jamaica, I didn't, um, I didn't know my parents because my, my, my daddy came here and he sent for my mother and, um, and they came in, then they sent for us. Now, what I'm asking, when you were back in Jamaica um, with your family, um, your parents, how, how, how was your, your upbringing and um, you know, um, how was you brought up and in, in what manner and how, you know, did you go to church and, you know, and what age and did you co come in here? Uh, did you come at a young age? Yes, um, as to my upbringing, first, I have to make known, um, when I was born, um, I was born to my mother, they were living in Clarendon, Jamaica, mm -hmm. and, but prior to me being born, my grandmother heard that my father had impregnated my mother. And my grandmother said to my mother, when I was born, she would like to care for me, to look after me. And my mother said to her, how would you expect me to hand over my son to you to care for? He's mine. Anyway, I was then born, and my mother was seeking to feed me milk. But I would not risk take any milk from my mother. And all she, she was trying to do, I just would not accept it. My grandmother then heard what was happening. And she left from the country to come to my mom to find out what's happening to the child. I looked well, but I was not feeding as a child should be feeding. Mm -hmm. My grandmother then suggested to my mother to hand me over to her, and she took hold of me and she fed me some common gate milk, mm -hmm. which I took. And my grandmother says to my mom, let me take this child and look up, and then I will be giving back to you. From that moment I left my mother's house, I have never returned. Mm -hmm. And my grandmother grew me up and my auntie, Aunt Daisy, and she helped her to look after me. At the age of seven years old I had an accident. I went to collect a letter from the post office which my dad had sent to my grandmother and I slipped in a foothold and I must have strained and broken a bone in the leg. Mm. I went to the doctors, they put me a plaster on and they should have tidied and cleaned up all the bone they didn't mm. and it grew into chronic osteomyelitis. Oh. So from that age of seven I have been going in and out of hospital. I spent nearly 15 years of my life in hospital. Oh. Each time I went to school, as soon as it came examination, I would have to be in hospital, so I was not able to sit the exams as all the children were. Therefore, I, was, I received no certification from man that I was good at anything. Mm. But they said, according to how I was, they would have expected me to get the qualification. Yes. You know, I then, my dad then sent, my dad then met a lady here, Jean Brody her name was, as you know, that's the lady who taught young girls to become women, mm -hmm. you know, according to the li English literature. Yeah. And I came here and this lady never had any children, but she took me and my three brothers as her sons. Mm -hmm. And she was an exceptional mother. Mm -hmm. Cared for me, she would take me to the churches, mm -hmm. you know, seeking for them to pray for me so I would be healed of this this illness which I had yes. and and she'd say believe Lewis you know have faith mm -hmm. and I was trying to force myself to see this thing happen mm -hmm. not realizing the thing was actually happening in a way other than which I was thinking mm -hmm. because 
it was opening doors for me to meet individuals who were doing good and caring for people. Mm -hmm. The doctors, the nurses, mm -hmm. the care and the acceptance to help me from these people was so amazing. Yes. It began to wipe away, you know, um, the, the, the hate, hunger, the mm -hmm. hatreds I had against mm -hmm. people of different color than myself. Mm -hmm. And, you know, then, you know, from there, mm -hmm. after leaving the, um, the hospital, mm -hmm. and I came back out, I then got a job, I worked at Boots. Mm -hmm. I met a young lady, her name was either Buchanan at the time, and I saw her as someone who was trying to be bigger than life, and I looked at her and I told the people, don't endorse what she's doing. Anyway, one day she fell in front of me, I told them not to pick her up, but let her pick up herself. And from that moment, she pursued me to find out if I'd married to a white woman. At that time, I myself, you know, I, I had a disposition against people who I considered to be white because I'd heard what they'd done to my forbearance, mm -hmm. and I held these things against them. Anyway, that said, lady had eventually ended up being my wife. We mm -hmm. were together for 15 years. Mm -hmm. Her father and her mother grew to love and appreciate me, mm -hmm. and I appreciated them. Mm -hmm. That woman who I saw not good enough to be my wife, she is the one who taught me the importance of love and care. Mm. That's amazing, you know. Looking back and listening to what you say there, and where you're coming from, and what you've been through, and we see there, there is a molding going on. There's a molding. There's a molding. You know that's taking place. We can't, we, we, we can't see at the, then at the time. What we see now, you've come here, and you've come into this environment where this you come amongst white people and so you come into contact with this young woman and at, at first there is a resistance but then there is a a, a barrier that is being broken down oh, yes. gradually being broken oh, down yes. within you as well as as well as in the other individuals because we don't know what the other individuals might be thinking at the time because at the same time, God is working on you and He's working on her yes. until you come to that place of agreement, agreement, yes. you know, with each other. You know, you you being black, she being white, you know, and you join together. Yes. Now, coming in 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 this country, how did you when you came together? Did you find um, people? Um, uh, a bit resentful towards you marrying a, a, a white woman, being with a white woman, because I myself, um, um, the my girlfriend that I was living with in the flat, she was a white person. But you know, in in those days, um, we never had any problem as such. Um, if if there was, you know, we never took it to heart. <laughs> you know. Yeah. Mm. Well. My, the, the, the lady who became a wife, she has this amazing love for underdogs, mm -hmm. things which are counted out. She was the only child to her parents, and they loved her and desired everything good they had was hers. Now, I was a young man who my mother and fa my father saw as someone who they wanted to, s to be make into a man. To be a man, it simply means you stand on your own feet and acquire the things that you want by your own knowledge. All these things that they desired for me, I then found out when I met this woman that my knowledge <laughs> and all the things that was being offered to me could not, did not gain me it. And why I can say this to you, my father said to me one day, Son, black and white is good, but it's good only for painting the color of her house. And then I come and bring before him mm -hmm. a young lady who was my wife. Mm -hmm. 
When I showed my father the woman who was to be my wife, my father said to me, son, this woman cares for you. She's willing to share with you. At that time, I knew she cared. And I knew she was a sharer. I knew all the things that I needed was in this woman. But in my ignorant being, I believed I was the good to her. Because that is what I wanted to think. But looking back now, this woman came into my life to set a precedent as how I should love women, how I should be to a woman and implemented the changes that needed to be made in me for me to be right to become a father, a brother, a friend, a counselor and all these different things. Yes. I'm a person who is quick tempered and easy to anger and if I was angry with anyone as soon as I came home she would be able to look at me and tell me something is wrong. Mm. When I tell her something is wrong, she would then listen and say to me, you were wrong. You have misconstrued what that person was saying. You misunderstand that person. You're thinking that person is equal to you, but they don't. You need to go back and let them know you're sorry. And this woman told me those things. And I was glad to do it. Mm. But the reason I was glad to do it is because she took things from me in truth and dealt with me with it in truth. Mm. So when I did it, it released me from the burden of my anger. Mm. You know, and yeah. you know, then yeah. there came a time but then we desired a child mm. and they told her, you know, she would never have a child. And I would never have a child. You know, she went through treatments, mm -hmm. you know, and the doctor said to her one day, you know, you could spend 9,000 pounds, but you, you'll never have a child. When the doctor said that to her, it offended her. Mm -hmm. And she began to walk in front of me. And no matter what I said to comfort her, it couldn't comfort her. Because what, the, and I said to the doctor, who are you to tell her? and me, we can't have a child. Instead of seeking a way to console her, you now put her in a state of disappointment and disbelief. Mm -hmm. But I still could reach her. And then this woman who was so close and so good to me got lost in what was said and a severing came between me and her. Mm -hmm. We then separated you know, on the day we were separate, I never believed we'd ever separate. On the day when she was leaving, you know, I put this record on, Jim Reeves. Mm. Are you really leaving? Mm. If you're leaving, please take some, take some part of me. She'll always remember yes. what true love used to be. This record was mm. playing, mm. and she knew that I was playing it to her. Mm -hmm. You know, while she's taking these things, her mother said to her, that one is yours. She says, no, nothing in this house is my mom. Everything in it is for us. Mm. We purchase things to share things. Yes. So no one...